welcome everyone. Um, this is obviously a really special uh, media conference to do. Um, just a, a great occasion. Um, sitting here how many months ago it was with uh, Ginny making the Olympic team. Uh, obviously this is a very different different conference to, to do. So um, you know, just a, a few words from me. Obviously we're amazingly proud of uh, what Ginny was able to accomplish. Um, you know, not, probably not just down in Rio, but really the whole last 12 months of her start of her WVU career has been, been incredible. Um, you guys will, I'm sure, have a ton of questions for her about the experience, but um, you know, definitely very proud for myself um, and just the team and the whole university, uh, not just Ginny, but also Nico and the success he had. Um, and I think the other special thing was, um, for me anyway, was the, the response, the fact that Ginny's medal was the very first medal of the Games um, has just been an incredible response. Um, the extra attention that that brought I think was incredible. Um, and it was really far-reaching, you know, not just uh, in West Virginia, not just in the U.S., but, but all around the world. Uh, and that actually was, uh, was great, not just uh, for Ginny and the team at WVU, but really for the sport of rifle and shooting as well. Um, you know, got so much great publicity for it. So um, with that, I'll open up the questions and uh, probably give from uh, Jim. I think I left Rio on the 15th and we went to the airport and I ate in the Rio airport, which was to be a mistake as I got food poisoning on the plane. Uh, so uh, our plane left a little bit late and we all ended up missing our connections, but I was very fortunate to get on the next flight. So yesterday I managed to land, get all my bags, and drove right down to West Virginia. And then when I got there, the team came over to my house with food that I couldn't eat. But it was very nice. They made it very special of a celebration for me. What did you, what did you eat that made you so I think it was pasta. So. How do you feel now, Jenny? Better. Yeah. <laughs> Started eating. Good. So. It's been an interesting day, to say the least. I've had ESPN following me around to class to kind of do a, a day in the life series. So it's been a lot of fun to be able to go and show them around my world and also be able to experience the the community of Morgantown supporting me. Well, obviously it's great. It's great publicity, not only for me, like John said, but for West Virginia University and the sport of shooting. The fact that my medal was the first one made it very popular and made it so that my sport can grow because of that. And you know, I might not want the media around me all the time, but that's part of the course, and that's my responsibility as an elite athlete. It's definitely been an overwhelming year for me, but at the same time, I've grown as a person, as I've grown as a shooter. So for me, being able to handle it better is part of becoming successful. My, my goal has always been to be the best shooter I can be. And not only that, but to be the best person I can be, the best teammate, the best student, everything. And that doesn't change no matter how many medals or what color the medals or where you get the medals. All I want to do is go into the next year and try to improve and try to help my team. So a normal day for me would be I'd go to class 8.30 to 1, train with my team 1 to 5, 5.30 workout, 6.30 team dinner, homework, bed at 10 p.m. exactly. So that's a normal day. Um, as far as my training for the next few months, I'll have a bit of time off, which is a first, and then the college season will start, and I'm very excited for that. Obviously, it's a great thing for me to be able to do that. One of the best parts about Rifle is natural 
ability does not hold you back. And whether you're a male, female, five foot one, six foot one, it doesn't matter. Rifle is a sport where you very much get out of it what you put into it. And that's the message I'd like to get across. Definitely. I think this competition is one where you can mentally outthink yourself, and that's the danger. So for me, just being very focused, uh, during the match, I started out with some struggles, and I had to come off the line, and my Olympic coach down there said, Jenny, all you can do is shoot the best you can. I got back on the line, and that's what I did, is I shot the best I could at a very bad hold, but it didn't matter. And then once I got into the final, I was very much focused on my breathing and that was the point where all the training and all the discipline just just came through for me and all I did was focus on my breathing and let my body knew how do what it knew how to do